welcome back to the channel on this video I'm gonna take the Rad Rover for a ride I haven't ridden the Rad Rover in a while if you're not familiar with this bike it is a 750 watt 48 volt our rear hub motor down there it's got a 14 amp hour battery right there and it's 26 by 4 inch wheels this is my very first e-bike. I think I have to adjust the seat a little bit up. It's my very first uh, e-bike that I purchased. And uh, it's been a very good bike. I haven't done anything at all to it. I haven't had to do anything To it, I need to change gears here. All right, I haven't really had to do anything to it, and uh, and I haven't. And I'm gonna up it to pedal assist three. We're gonna head to. King City Park is where I'm heading. I think the only thing, I mean, other than it not having the power to climb hills, and I'm, I know that it doesn't have that kind of power, and that's why I went and bought the Grizzly. Um, but other than that, the only other thing I would criticize on this bike is the seat i haven't changed the seat it's the original seat and it's a hard seat i gotta tell you of course the bike is a hard tail so uh luckily though it does have uh the big fat tires to help absorb some of that bumps but the seat is hard i'll say that that's the one thing that i would say uh, you might want to get a different one, but other than that, pretty good bike. And when you pedal, it's, a, it's my favorite bike to pedal with. I probably should have a mirror on here, which I've never done. Probably something that should be on here. Um, but the, uh, the level I'm in right now, three is really good. If you want to get going at a good cruising, comfortable pedaling speed, uh, I always like number three. It gets you that 15, 16 miles an hour and you're pedaling nice and comfortable. Uh, it's not ghost pedaling or anything. Three might even at times be a bit fast, but if you're on an open area where you can kind of cruise along, then I'd say a level three is is really good otherwise you might want to bump it down to two but this bike is really nice like I say it's my favorite one for strictly pedaling and I haven't been on it for a while so it's time to take it for a spin Oh, I was going to go that way, but I think I'll go this way. The top speed on this bike would be about 25 miles an hour. And... You can kind of feel it when you get up that fast. You can feel it kind of pull back. Like it's not going to allow you to go any more than 25. So definitely a class 2 uh, bike for sure. I'm used to riding the the moped style like the graffiti and the grizzly and 
when you get on this bike you feel like you're a lot higher up which you are and you can really notice it Pretty quiet right now around here. So without the mirror, I'm finding myself looking over my shoulder to see if anybody's coming because I'm going to make a left turn here. Looks like we're good. You know, I'm not even sure what controller size is in this bike. Probably something like a 22 amp, 20, 22, something like that. Very easy pedaling here in uh, assist level three at uh, 16 miles per hour. One thing I noticed about this bike, too, getting it out. Of course, I keep all my bikes inside the house, so I take it out. I got about four steps to go out the front door, which I, is where I take the bike out of. And uh, this bike is so much lighter than my other bikes. You can really notice that. And it's got the... Uh, Right behind the seat, it's got a handle there, which is very convenient for lifting the bike up. I really like having that there to uh, be able to move the bike around when you have to lift it. Another beautiful day here as we're now into the month of August. Summer's going by really quickly. Before you know it, we're going to be seeing leaves changing color on the trees and falling. Bit of a hill here, I just coast down this. No need for pedaling. This bike is also very quiet. The only thing you hear, and even that's not too bad, is the uh, humming of the tires on the pavement. But other than that, it's an extremely quiet bike very very quiet smooth I mean it's no it's a hardtail but it's a smooth ride it's, anyway despite that uh, just the seat is hard and I mentioned that already but that's about it other than that it's good Yeah, because the bike is so quiet, you do hear the uh, humming of the tires. Like, for example, on the Grizzly, when I ride that, because the uh, motors, especially when you get both of them going, when you got that going, uh, you don't hear the hum of the tires because the uh, thing is so loud. Uh, the motors are so loud, you don't hear the humming of the tires so much because the motor uh, sound, especially when you get that front one on, it's extremely loud. The back one's not so bad, but it's the front one that's extremely loud.
this bike I've had it for I don't know how long now but it's still only got 809 miles so I have not ridden this one a whole lot I've done some videos with the bike but not a lot But it's nice to get out on it for a change up. This is the best way a person can exercise, in my opinion. It's the most fun and best way. I just love it. The nice thing about this bike too is you need a throttle. I know there's bikes out there that don't have the throttle, but I think you need the throttle for, for starting out at an intersection or a stop sign or whenever you're stopped. It's nice to use this throttle to get yourself started. And then you can leave everything. Like for example, I'm in pedal assist three, I'm in uh, gear uh, seven up here. The highest one and I like it to, at that <clears throat> uh, to leave it at that setting I don't want to keep switching uh, changing gears all the time so uh, with the throttle it'll get you started and then you get right back on the speed that you're at and the comfortable pedaling at the same level and I like to kind of leave it there once I get it set it makes for a nice easy enjoyable ride I have yet to have, I shouldn't jinx myself, but I've yet to have any, any issues with this bike at all. Um, the only thing, I have had a couple of times, I did fall on the bike once, had a, had a fall or wipeout out of my driveway, I think. I've told the story before, but I can tell it again here. So in the winter, I was commuting on this bike back and forth to work, which is a short, short ride, one mile each way. And my driveway is very short. It's, it's one car length, two cars wide. And I was coming out of the driveway, and it's a slight slope down. Not too bad, but a bit of a slope. And um, You get by this okay and as i was coming out of the driveway i didn't know that there was like black ice and so the rear end of the bike went underneath me uh went for a slide and um but i was okay the bike was okay got up and brushed myself off and away i went but that's the only time i've had an accident i've not had a flat tire or anything else i have had though as the branches almost whacked me there i have had uh, the bike suddenly turn off not in a long time but in the past i have had it just kind of go blank and i'm not sure uh, what happened with that it would just shut off but i've had that happen a couple of times but not much i mean i it's not you could count that on one one hand like a few times and like i said i don't know exactly what happened but I'm gonna whip by here
So hey, if you have any comments on this video or any other videos on the channel, just go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.